Hey guys, DJ Bean here. I'm going to show you guys how to do a little scratching trick with the Pioneer Mixers. You're going to need a Pioneer Mixer with a noise control. Uh, it's the noise color effect, I mean. Any Pioneer Mixer that has the noise color effect. I think also the Pioneer uh, one, the new XDJs, they have a noise effect on it as well. Actually, any mixer that has a noise effect on it uh, with a knob control, you can probably do this with. So uh, I'll show you how you guys scratch with the noise right now. Basically, what the noise is, is uh, this little knob here. If you assign that to that button noise right there, it does this. It's basically a sweeping effect, and you use that for... Um, Build ups and breakdowns. So before a drop, you go, and then drops come in. Yeah, and you do the drop, uh, stuff like that. But if you assign this to a crossfader channel on this, so say I'm going to assign it to this side, okay? So whenever I move it here, it's going to cut the sound. If I assign it to that channel, okay, and I do, a, um, I cut with the crossfader and move the knob at the same time, you get this sound. Oh, wait, I didn't do it right. And basically, that sounds very similar to a scratch. Now, you can uh, do a little bit more alternation with that. That's just very basic. You know, just that's a basic transform. But you can also alternate the knob and uh, cut at the same time. Do a little bit of something like this. That sounds really, really, really cool. I love using this. It sounds a lot like scratching, but it's a bit different. Uh, also, you can chuck effects on it. So, I like putting an echo on this. Awesome. All right. Hope you guys learned something from that. And uh, yeah, as the DJ tuner says, practice and enjoy. Hope you guys like a little tip. And uh, yeah, I want to hear you guys use that in clubs. See you guys. Subscribe. <laughs>